Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 27th day of May, 2021, I'd like to take you over here to JM Bullion and start your day. But before I do, I'd like to mention something to you that came up yesterday, and I was thinking about it overnight. The American Silver Eagles, that was the enrollment program that they said carried over to the new design. And that's all well and good. Now, here's my question. Um... Now, we know the U.S. Mint came out about the Eagle enrollments because it must be on their minds because they have, I mean, this has got to be what they're working on. You know, get the message out. We're working on this now, blah, blah, blah. Well, since it's on their minds, it should be on your mind. So let's take you over here to Jam Bullion. Looks like gold is up $2.93 to 1903.02. Silver is up $0.02 cents to twenty-seven eighty. Platinum is up $2.79 to twelve oh eight eight. And looks like Palladium is up $29.28 to $28.1402. Sticking with JM Bullion, looked over here to the American Silver Eagles. And I saw that the Type 2 is still for pre-sale. And I also noticed that the Type 1 is also uh, selling. However, the Type 1 is $41.77 per ounce. And the American Eagle Type 2 is $37. So that's a $4 difference, folks. Um, that's incredible. So what that tells me is that they don't have any extra of these coming in anymore. And the ones they do have on hand will be very, uh, well, they're going to be a lot more expensive, $4 over what this one's premiums are. So that made me go, wait a minute. So what is, what is the deal? Um, let's see, 43.90 at a hundred. And that's for the type one. Let's see here, 43.90 to 39.73. It's a little bit under the four, but, uh, Gosh, I'll tell you, um, you're going to pay a lot more for that American Eagle Type 1. And now look at this. Now, if you go to eBay and you see here that the American Silver Eagle Type 2 is there's 261 results. And there's things like Pinehurst Coins and Atmex. And, you know, they're selling them um, not from the big dealers, but just regular folks, uh, maybe small businesses. Some are already graded. Um, you can buy those at fifty dollars for an MS sixty nine for the Type Two bullion, and um, it's just mostly Pinehurst and Atmex. Okay. Now, if we go over to the Type One, check this out. It's a wasteland. There's none out here. Now, it does say five hundred and thirty two results for a buy it now lowest shipping, but look at this. The first listing, and I mean, I've got Type One here. Some of the first listings, and I don't really count that one because it's not a Pinehurst or an Atmex. Um, 4381 for the Type 2. Look at this one. Type 1, 42, top rated plus. Another Type 2. Um, and these are encapsulated, uh, rather, in um, they've been graded and hold, put in holders. So I'm just looking for the raw stuff, you know, just straight up bullion. Look at this, another Type 2. So I'm just still looking for the bullion of Type 1. Here we go. What's this? That's 50 bucks. And that's a 2021 Type 1, okay, but not from the big big boys um, CDN, at least one that has a symbol here, folks. So that's what's going on. Look at this. Um, this is a top-rated seller, and it's $50 um, plus some shipping. But gosh, they give you 10% off. So hey, what this says to me is that this Type 1 is already selling for more than the Type 2, and the Type 2 isn't out even yet. So I think that if you haven't picked up the Type 1 just yet, um, you might want to before it gets even more expensive and it will get more expensive because there'll be none left out here for sale. Because really, um, if you just want to buy the bullion, it looks like you almost have to go to Atmex, uh, JM Bullion, SD Bullion and get the type one. Um, cause eBay's looking pretty slim, uh, as far as that's concerned. Now, um, I want to give you the, the rationale, I think, um, behind a lot of my logic and it's from Occam's Razor, okay? And this person, um, it was William of Occam, an English uh, Franciscan friar from 1287 to 1347, a scholastic philosopher and theologian who used a preference for simplicity to de defend the idea of divine miracles. Now, this philosophical, philosophical razor advocates that when presented with competing hypotheses about the same prediction, like the same outcome, one should always select the solution with the fewest assumptions, right? Don't assume. That's huge. And I think that's kind of where I'm coming from most of the time is I don't like to make assumptions and neither should you, but sometimes we have to when we're trying to figure things out. But 
Choose the one with the least and the fewest assumptions. And that's how you should be pretty safe. Anyway, listen, I want to thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.